Hello, Gemini. We are going to do a reading today for the week ahead. What are the strongest energies you will be dealing with this week? Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week, announced on Sunday, drawn at random. The way to be entered for that is to like, share, subscribe, and also comment down below in the comments section, hashtag the week ahead, okay? If you would like to book a personal reading, I'm still doing $10 off. Just shoot me an email. That is in the description box below. I haven't ever used these cards and they're very stiff. Anyway, all right, guys, you know the drill, general reading. Cannot and will not resonate for everyone, okay? So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check those other placements. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. Um, I'm going to put you on one side. The energy you're dealing with on the other, feel free to flip it around, move it around. Sometimes we're going to mix up both energies on both sides, okay? All right, guys. Time is fluid. There's no gender in tarot. Let's do it. Bottom of the deck. The star. I love it. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Don't have to be. We've got the Hermit and the King of Wands. Virgo energy there with some fire. We've got the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups and Temperance. On the other side, we've got the seven of coins and the knight coins. We have the five of swords and the four of swords. And we have the eight of cups and the seven of cups. These are really pretty cards. I like them. I don't like how stiff they are because they're super hard to shuffle, but they're pretty with this star energy on the bottom of the deck. Okay, what is up, Jamini? Jamini, Jamini. So we have a Virgo energy. We have Sagittarius. We have uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got water, fire. We've got all four signs represented. Okay, Aquarius on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like this may be a little bit heavier of a reading, which I don't particularly care for, but now I just read the cards, guys, okay? All right, so this hermit. Somebody is really, whether this is you or your person, trying to get some clarity. They've really um, gone within, maybe not talking much, just trying to find a way forward, trying to make decisions, get some clarity, right? The the beautiful thing about the hermit that I love that I always point out is in that lantern is a star, okay? Really trying to follow their divinely guided path. And on the bottom of the deck, we have this, the star, okay? So there's a connection here. All of this is happening for a reason. You're being led down this road for a purpose, okay? What is this hermit about for Gemini? Queen of Pentacles. More earth energy there. What is this Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit? The Wheel of Fortune. There's just something going on that is upsetting, that is you're trying to figure out. You may feel something coming, but it's just very, um, it's not sitting well with you and, and it's coming. It's like, you can hear the clock ticking. It's like those moments when you know something isn't right, but you don't know what it is, and all you can do is wait. Could have to do with a fire sign here, but this King of Wands, you know, they go after what they want. The Hermit, that could be who you're thinking about, Aries Leo Sag, and who may very well be thinking about you. Similar energy going on there. Mm. Ten of Wands. They're about to. This is about to come to a conclusion. They're about to lay down this, all of these wands, and and speak freely or move freely, right? With this Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, I will tell you, I don't particularly enjoy this, but it certainly could be a third party situation. Third party doesn't have to be another person. It's anything that takes away from your relationship that that another person allows to take away from your relationship. Okay, it can be anything. They could be a workaholic. They could do nothing but play video games all day. They could. Um, you know, I don't know, spend all day, every day that they have time to at the golf course. It's just something that is that they're allowing to interfere in the relationship. 
Okay. With this seven of swords, it hurts. It feels like a betrayal. It feels deceptive. There's something coming. You know it. They're about to tell you what it is with this queen of swords, or you're about to demand to know what it is. Or you may very well be just investigating on your own to find out what it is, right? Something, something toxic. Certainly could be another person. Could be any kind of addiction. Again, workaholic, golfaholic, video gameaholic. You know, they could be on their phone incessantly. It, it's a million things. But it's something that, you know, with this three of cups, it's something that they like to do that they don't want to give up, Right. And you feel it coming. Yeah, you feel it coming. Look at that. I'm still waiting. Still waiting for you to, to, to tell the truth. Could have to do with money, but I feel like it's more like a... It's just, it's just something that you... It, whatever this is, and it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. Whatever it is, this is something that has interfered for a while. Okay. That seven of pentacles certainly could be seven years. Okay. Seven months, whatever, whatever the time frame is, it doesn't matter. It has interfered in your life for a while. You know, you're reflecting on all of these, these situations, these times, this money, that, that, that one day that, and you're realizing that this isn't a new thing. Okay. Queen of cups. So here's the deal. I feel like, um, I feel like this is going to make you mad, right? Um, but you are in tune with your own emotions well enough to know that you'll be okay by yourself. But Gemini, you certainly could just exit stage left in a huff, right? And that's okay. Page of Pentacles, they're not going to want you to. And I know that the Ace of Wands, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that, but I'm telling you, um, a lot of times I will see a card and I just get something that I've never gotten before. I've, you know, I've even get comments about, well, that's not what that means, or this isn't what that means. Well, it's different for every reader. It's different. There's different pictures in every deck. There's different um, ways to read. You know, you could, I mean, they're just, the cards are divination tools, okay? There's a 150 million ways to use a hammer, right? So with temperance here, you know, it's like you're starting to understand why things have happened the way that they've happened. Um, and also, you know, trying to stay very balanced, as calm as you can be. Um, Ace of Cups. I do, I do feel like with this temperance card, you're really trying to handle emotions and fears and doubt with that, with that, you know, the anger and the resentment that this brings. So you're really trying to just invest in yourself right now. Self-love is the key, but I do feel like this is for going to be for a Gemini who just was like, I'm out. I'm out. Yep, you're out. Moving on. Okay, so here's your person over here. We've got the seven of pentacles again, right? They're reflecting. They're taking assessment of the thing that they've done, the things that they've done, the things that have happened, um, things you found out about, right? It's like they're all laid out in front of them and they have to face them. And here we have this king of pentacles. This is a, you guys could be married or in a, you know, a long-term committed relationship, but And this certainly could be the last straw. This could be something that's gone on for a while. And, you know, you're just like, I, no, no more. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Um, getting gambling for some reason or something with, you know, something with money that they just lied about. Or they were moving money around, you know, from accounts and not necessarily telling you. And they may even have made it up. You know, if they were, they gambled your 401k, maybe they won. But you're like, how is this okay, right? And I do feel like with this with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like it's something that they've been doing for a while. 
Yeah. Now they're sorry. But with this devil card, it's not something that they're going to be able to just stop doing, especially if it's something they've been doing for a long time. They're getting, you know, they're getting all those all those endorphins from from this. And they may have even regretted it every time. Knight of or King of Swords. So they may even be very forthright about what's happened and how they feel. And they may certainly tell you the truth. The problem is with this five of swords, I just feel like, you know, you see it as a betrayal. You see it as, as games that were played, you know, with important issues that you were not talked to about. And it's going to cause an argument. You know, you feel very betrayed. You feel very um, blindsided by this. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I, I do. I feel like this is going to be like a uh, an argument. And I feel like, you know, you just are not going to invest in something like that. We've got this four of swords next to it. Um, you just want to, you just want to heal. You just want, you know, you needed the truth. You deserved the truth. And now you want to move on. Yeah. And the universe is guiding that, right? Tempering that energy, helping you get through this, helping you get that clarity, um, helping you with self-love, helping you just with understanding this situation. Okay. This is, this may very well be for a person who kind of knew that this was coming or whatever, but it's just like the straw that broke the camel's back. Okay. And what I will tell you is, you know, I don't like negative readings any more than anybody else does. I will tell you that, um, these readings are meant for you to understand why things happened. And we don't always get all of those answers, but what we do get is, um, hope for the future. And with every loss, there's always hope for the future, especially when we see this temperance card showing up twice, right? This is the universe. They've always got your back, right? Yeah. This may very well, um, you know, people may be talking about this, especially if you guys have been a long, you know, together a long time. It's like, you know, people are going to talk, but it's okay. I don't think it bothers you. We have this eight of cups. You're standing strong and walking away, leaving things in the past that no longer serve you. And no matter how much love you have for this person, this relationship is not serving you. It's not serving anyone. It's not even serving them, right? Yeah. There's a very definitive end here, but there's also a transformation, new beginnings, right? Everything that ends is a catalyst for a new beginning. Yeah. And the eight of pentacles. It's like um, you're put, you're investing in yourself now. You're investing in you. And that's always good energy. So here we have this seven of cups. I do feel like there's love here. I feel like you guys love each other. I, I feel like you are... Yeah. Seven of cups, eight of cups. You know, you, you, you do have feelings connected with this. You weren't just a cold hearted person that said, I don't care about your problems. I'm leaving. There is, there is love here, right? But it, it's not serving you and it's causing confusion and heartbreak and pain. Yeah. You, you probably are going to block this person. You're just going to move forward. Okay. You may even be getting a divorce, but let me tell you with this star card. Okay. This is very divinely guided. Okay. You were meant to find this out. This person is not leveling up. And when somebody that you're with doesn't, you know, doesn't learn lessons and level up, they drag you down with them. Okay. So here we have the two of cups and the ace of swords. I do feel like, and the tower, I do feel like, um, again, there was love and this truth. I mean, it just, it blew it all up. Um, the four of coins, the queen of wands, so, you know, this could be a situation where you have felt this energy around you for a while. You know, but this Queen of Wands energy is not going to put up with that. She's going to be like, I, I, you know, I want happiness. I deserve happiness. And she's going to go out and get it, right? Three of Wands. She's going to look another way for her ships to come in. And getting a new beginning, even after heartbreak, maybe even with um, an emperor energy, okay? I don't know how this will all come to fruition, but I will tell you that for those of you that this resonates with, this is not new information, okay? This is just validating that what if you need to leave, it's the right thing to do. Or if you were wondering about this energy, this is validation that this is what's happening. 
we all have free will and everybody can do what they choose to do. But I do see you standing strong even after the, you know, you, you exit this person's energy. All right. Whew. Gemini, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag the week ahead. If you'd like to book a personal reading for some clarity on this situation, feel free to shoot me an email that is in the description box below. And I'm sending you tons and tons of love and light until next time.